luxury home or mobile home? How about an RV? The International RV Show hits Toronto every spring, and this year it was bigger than ever. Larry Boyd is the show manager. The RV market uh, is one of the markets that has remained fairly strong even through some recessionary times. We saw a bit of a dip in 2009 and 10, but it's bounced right back. Actually, this is the largest attendance we've had at an RV show in 10 years. The show draws many people from across southern Ontario who are looking to get ready for the summer season in style. You know, now I'm going to reproject, I'm going to say 18 to 20,000 people because we've already had 5,000 on Thursday and Friday. The show was a first for several exhibitors, including Shamrock Bay by Muskoka Communities. Karen Davis says the show was a great experience. Um, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people, a lot of really nice people to talk to, lots of questions and giving the answers and seeing that the enthusiasm from people has been wonderful. The show allows people to get a sense of all kinds of RVs in one place. The benefit is there's 400 RVs here. RV of every possible type, size and configuration available in the market. GoRVing.com says that the majority of RV owners are under the age of 55. Towable trailers were the most sold in 2012 and RV sales increased by 13% last year. This self-proclaimed world's largest RV store filled an entire hall with their unique and hard-to-find RV parts. The show has always been very successful and is the fiscal boost in the RV market each year. Uh, I'm going to say, well, last year this show was about 15 million. Hundreds of RVs are sold at the show every year, from this to this. For Humber News at the International RV Show, I'm Lisa Mayer.